I rise today uh, to speak in opposition of House Bill 5456, which would create further roadblocks for those who have been harmed because of contact with asbestos. Asbestos litigation is the largest mass tort in U.S. history. It involves more than 700,000 working men and women whose lives have been dramatically shortened by contact with this substance. Asbestos exposure, asbe asbestos exposure most heavily affects construction workers, firefighters, and of course many of our veterans as, as we've heard. This bill would require victims of exposure to sue for compensation due to mesothelioma or lung cancer to jump through even further hoops. This bill will needlessly elongate the court process in order to protect corporations that created the mess in the first place. Victims have already gone through a lengthy legal process uh, to receive compensation. Those who have been diagnosed with mesothelioma or lung cancer caused by asbestos have generally about a year to live. Victims fighting for their lives don't have the time for these delays. And I can tell you as a firefighter, we go into many buildings, we have no idea what kind of uh, materials are in those buildings. We take as many precautions as we can, but we can't always protect against ourselves against everything, and sometimes we contract this terrible disease. This is an unnecessary bill that allows those who profit off of, off of asbestos to avoid paying for their negligence. It goes without saying that I stand in opposition of House Bill 5456. And Mr. Speaker, those are my prepared remarks. I, I just want to finish up with this. You know, recently, Mr. Speaker, we had, we had an election in this country, and, and the people who voted in that election said they wanted to drain the swamp. And I don't know about you or my colleagues, Mr. Speaker, but when I go back to my, my uh, district and talk to my constituents, working class and middle class people, they feel like they're running uphill, running against the wind, swimming upstream, and that big special interests are, are holding them back and holding them down. And the only thing that equals that out are bodies like this. We are what we have to help working families in this state to fight against big money corporate special interest. If this was really about transparency, we wouldn't even be having this conversation. We would have voted and hit the road a long time ago. So I ask you, Mr. Speaker, and my colleagues this. If you can go home and look at your constituents in the eye, those working class and middle class families, and tell them that you did the absolute very best for them today, then go ahead and vote yes. And if you can't do that, I urge you all to vote no.